This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time. I will analyze some of the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting co anchors with me Nimi Dekombi and Ife Olua Oshoke. How are you guys doing? Great. Whitish great. Whitish great. Mm. Mm. Blackish great. Black and. Whatever color this is, ah. great. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's get right into it. Tekashi 69 is in the news again, this time for accusing Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber of buying tens of thousands of copies of their charity duet, um, Stop With You, to boost its position, maintaining number one spot on US charts. 69 also said some streams of his song, Guba, were improperly discounted, leaving it in the third place of the charts. Following the accusation, Bieber called the rapper's accusations a lie. Um, while Grande advised him to take a moment to humble himself. However, this um, made compilers of the Billboard charts pub um, publish an article um, explaining how positions were calculated. From their explanation, overall, Stock With You drew 28.1 million US streams, 26.3 million in radio airplay audience, and 108,000 sold in the tracking week while tekashi 69's um guba had 53.3 million us streams 172,000 in um re in radio airplay audience and 24,000 sold mm. Mm. okay so i think um from what i saw i think the sales um counts Carry, more not away. the stream actually right mm -hmm. yes. okay and because it's a domestic um chat exactly. they they're not counting um global streams and Takashi thinks because he has a lot of global streams and he, but he still he, has a lot of domestic streams yeah, actually does, for the statistics but, but not as mm. much as stock with and you radio play and, and radio um, play and so we no no he has to, more than stock with you on streams actually um, yeah he has yeah sold. he has okay it's yeah, sold so that they are sold more that and has. i think because they were strategic about it because they did an autograph um sales where you get to buy an autograph copy yeah. of the song and then stream at the same time and that was disclosed at the last minute do you understand so it was the strategy they they were they saw it as a competition and they were strategic about it and but he didn't know that part so he felt like oh they bought streams and but this is not the first time somebody and um someone is calling out um yeah, for yeah. for always selling their streams their units i mean for to get people on number on the number one spot and all that so it's nothing new but i like the but this is the first time they're coming out to defend Explain. it actually mm. and i like the fact that they're doing that and if you listen to stock with you i think <laughs> i would rather listen to stock with you all day yeah, every day than, than, i thought you're a rapper yeah. I'm, not, I'm a rapper but i don't listen to trash are you a fan so of so <laughs> is trash completely exactly so people feel it is trash which mm. is why i'm not do you feel surprised. it is trash i'm not even listening to the song to be okay. honest I watched snippets of the video and I was like, nah, this is not the kind of music I vibe to. That's Guba, not mm -hmm. Stop With You. I've, I've listened to Stop With You and I've watched the video and I like the video. I think, um, I would say that I don't know what Tekashi is on since when he got out of jail. Because he's still said, in jail. Yeah, he's still in jail. Yeah, home jail. Okay. Because ever <laughs> since he came back, you know, he came back with a He's just he a cruise right a now. I don't know. news on his IG live. It's like he has been on something because even though there was a news that he was challenging Akon. To a battle of heat. Mm. Yeah, it like, mm. accepted, but it didn't happen. So I don't know why that did not happen. Mm. But it cannot even happen because how many hits does sure Tekashi even have? I'm sure they spoke to Akon. That who spoke to what him? What are you doing? Mm. Akon is Possible. like on Michael Jackson kind of level. So who is Tekashi? Ah, ah, I'm yeah. just ah, saying. Ah, ah, you did not even let my T enter. Ah, <laughs> Which one is Michael ah, Jackson ah, again? Like, ah, I'm just saying. Ah, ah, <laughs> Akon is a ah. legend. Akon is a legend. He's a legend. Come on. Uh, he's not like Michael Jackson, but like I'm saying that he's kind of like when you look at artists. But he accepted by artists. himself. Why are you people uh, taking this thing? I think he just wanted to fool. He just wanted to make fun. the boy look stupid. But um, I'm sure people told him that no, 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 yeah, you're the no one that would look stupid. And that would also be a good but strategy for him as well because a lot of people were watching stream that. Though. But guess what? Irina Grande's response gave me life. To be, to be honest. That was so mature and that was so true. She said, um, 
for anyone who feels some type of way, take some minutes to humble yourself. Mm. So sometimes it's not about... And again, look at the two people that even collaborated. Ariana Grande has a huge fan base. Justin Bieber has a huge fan base. So when two people like that collaborate, it's not just unexpected. And then when she now about, said, we, we you should even what be you want, grateful actually. you are here. Which is so true. Like, Takashi just thinks... Because it's out of um, he's, he's he's out of rare. He said you should be grateful. Uh, maybe because she's putting it in a nice context now, or this is coming out in a nice context, and it's not really like a big deal. That also feels like a proud statement. You should be grateful you're here. Okay. No, really? I think she was so, referring to the fact think, that he's out of jail. Uh, exactly. That, he's that still, was the, well, he's that was, still serving his sentence anyway. Uh, that's not her business. So she, she just focus on the music. Now that they've explained, we can move on. It's not. I, I don't know, but he should yeah. be grateful. He's even on Everybody that. Everybody should because be grateful. Because when you put Ariana Grande and Takashi on the same. Mm -mm. Even, Even if he's it's proud, not, she I, has the bragging right. Exactly, she has yeah. the bragging right, so they are not on the same Oh, level. he doesn't have rights to brag. Everybody has got bragging rights, you know. Anyway, let's not Every do rat has bragging right anyway. They make a lot you, of noise. Your, your issue is just... Are you minding him? Rat. He's no, a gang that's, member. That's, that's, that's why. That's why. You made me... You are, are you not my gang yeah, leader? Yes, <laughs> My gang leader. <laughs> Eva DuVernay and Netflix bosses are seeking the dismissal of prosecutors. Um, Linda Fairstein's lawsuit against their TV series, When They See Us. Um, she's saying they defamed her, basically. Um, she alleges that the four-part show was defamatory. According to Deadline.com, DuVernay and Netflix executives are citing the protection of the u.s first amendment of dismissal yeah first of all i even feel like a lawsuit is even nonsense because to be honest the whole series was telling the story from their own perspective of course they're not going to glorify you they're not going to portray you as a uh, i get the fact that she feels like the way the um the way the whole series portrayed her was in a negative light but in this story that is being told you are the antagonist nobody's going to say oh this is the human side or nobody's going to tell the story of how when she was done prosecuting she went up to her children and I she made the question them i want to ask so her i don't is, understand why she's even if you say you are not the antagonist and they didn't um, um, this um, Portray movie you portrayed properly. you wrongly. What role did you play as the prosecutor in charge of this case? What role did you play to find out if these young boys, because they were children at the point, yeah. if they were innocent, what role did you play? Come out to tell us that then maybe you can exonerate yourself. But if you cannot give us that side of the story, because usually they tell you there are two, three sides of the story, basically. So let's mm. say we've seen one side, and let's agree that this one side is based on the stories that the boys and oh, the family of the boys are telling, right? If you're saying you did something else that makes you a good person or a good prosecutor, come out and tell your or own story. Or shoot your own film. Right. I think Tell the major thing angle. that even made her look like a terrible person was when she held the 14-year-old boy without um, the consent of his parents, parents. or mm. them being present mm. there and all of that. So if you actually did that, you've already done something wrong. So we have every right to paint you I whichever way we want to paint I think it's even very funny because you. when this case, when the case was for, when they were first prosecuted, she took pride in the fact that she was the prosecutor in charge of the case. She took pride of that case. Mm -hmm. When everything now fell apart and then it was revealed that you played a huge role in putting in putting these boys in prison on you're boys. now saying you're crying foul. You're saying that you were portrayed in a different light. Meanwhile, when it was still like they were guilty, you were very happy with yourself and you were content in what you did. I think it's also um it still boils down to the fact that the way nollywood um hollywood <laughs> The way hey, Hollywood plays out narratives, especially when they want to talk about injustice against black people, sometimes when the way they tell their stories, they always humanize the antagonist. For instance, maybe the person that shot the black kid, they would tell the story in such a way that we see the human angle of they the antagonist. They would tell you that health. it was a mental health issue. Was, but this was, she was portrayed as somebody that knew what she was doing. And you know, she, the way she was portrayed, you know that mm -mm, there was a racial bias. Um, in what she did. So I think that that is the reason why she's coming out to say that oh, she was defamed. Probably she expected that the way that they would have told the story, they would have told it in a light, in a way that she was portrayed in I, a I just can't wait for this light. thing but to be true now, mm -hmm. But obviously, their skin color came to play of course in it this did. case. It's and, simple. Um, that's something that you need to accept. That is something that is still going on in America, as we're, we're still yeah. seeing with yeah. Aubrey. Um, what's his first name Ahmad, again? Ahmad, Ahmad Aubrey. Aubrey. Yeah, so we're still seeing that happening in America. So we need to stop acting like we're ignorant of the fact yeah. that we have racial crimes going Which on. And, and people, are, people are more scared of being called racist than actually doing racist stuff. So mm. it's like when you label me a racist, ah, I, was but I, have, I have a stand on but that, but I don't know how, how it is to say it on TV, but I'll tell you guys after the show. Okay, okay. so um, moving on. I personally feel royalties, kings and queens, should stay off social media. It's weakening the respect for the crowns of our land. 
since when is it normal for a king or a queen to be explaining him or herself to commoners? Social media presence is good for all of us these days, but royalties can have people to do it for them. Social media is the rain that fell and packed the dog and fowls in the same space. Very soon, our kings will start dancing on TikTok. Oh, come on. This isn't how the stories were told. This is coming from Big Brother Africa star Tayo Fanero. Personally, I don't agree with him. Why not? Because I'm like, uh, the world has evolved, whether you like it or not. We have, okay, for instance, let's look at the British queen. Does she handle it herself? It, it's, not, it's not a question of she, if she handles she it or not. She addresses it, is, her people. It's, the, what I, know, I think I get issues where with is him saying so people. There's a difference. People, I'm like, and I see, I think this is off the back of the recent trending gist of... Um, I the can't remember. Is it uh, the, of the to only that of Ifan, yeah, right? Yeah, saying they were yeah. not together anymore, and then she came out to debunk that to say yeah, these are enemies and her whatever, whatever, blah blah blah. I think that's where this is coming from. And then there's from. this other king as well that some can Canadian queen that is divorced has been saying a lot of trash about him as well. I can't remember what. I say Nigerian king, you know. Yes, he's a, he's a I can't Nigerian remember his king. position now. Position. But I get where he's so, coming from, though. No, even, it's I quite don't, disgraceful. I, don't, I think um, what Tayo is saying. It could be done in a more I think what Tayo is saying is 100% correct because wow. um, especially with our cultural heritage. Oh, please, need, I like them being on TikTok. We what need, are you saying? We need to here protect. We go again. No, the world is evolving, but there are things that need to be sacred. So people can all so a king cannot address his his followers. His common you can address your followers commoners. with a level of royalty. If are you talking his about is that this social even media or them the social of the media? Using, I'm saying the way, the way, they way you use it. That's not, that's not what he's saying. saying. He's saying they should not use it. They, very be, they will be on TikTok. And I'm like, I don't resonate with that at all. The world is evolving. Things, new inventions um, are being created. No, so why they can be, be on social media, but I don't agree they should handle it themselves. If you want to handle it, maybe you're personal. royalty should stay off social media. It's weakening the respect of, of for the crowns of our land. Since when is it normal for a king or queen to be explaining himself to when commoners? When you say stay off social media, is, I don't think it means do not use this. I think it means what does stay, stay off, off it in the mean? sense that don't come and start explaining to us or telling us this is what happened and or dragging each other and a, all of that. Dragging each other, okay, of I course understand you, that. It's good but to what's pass. the big deal in explaining yourself that, okay, the, these rumors have been circulating, this is actually what happened. What is then wrong do in, it in a formal way. Release a statement. Don't come out and be saying it is your enemy and you are talking like... Fine, I agree that the way she went about it might not have been very, very professional and royal, whatever, but I don't see the issue in a king or a queen addressing his or her followers or commoners. I don't get Nobody the big deal. He is saying that there is a big deal, that they should not, that since when yeah, does a king or queen explain, explain to his commoners? And I have issues with that mentality because what you're saying is that we should not hold our leaders accountable. But when you want to explain to commoners, there's a level in which you should do it as well. His Just own is that you it. don't need to. But if we have to follow the culture, you don't which need culture? to. Then you're about culture. And then they should get off social media. You don't need to explain to anyone. Then you need to, you need to Oba, look into that culture. That is what they say. Explain to everyone. What was the point of the town crimes? They explain to... Um, they are chiefs. They are chiefs. And then the message they people. have a conversation and then the town crier delivers the message of whatever they have agreed as the final say. So there's usually an explanation. There's communication. It's never a, oh, I wake up this morning and I want everybody's leg to be up, up and then and that's the case. No, that's the not reason why you are putting your leg up. You can't so there's an explanation. It, 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 it might not it's look. left to his discretion to explain to you. It doesn't owe us anything oh, to explain. It's just like saying that. It's, it's just it's, like saying that Buari does not owe us anything. Because that's what you're saying. A king is saying as a mini god on earth the same way you're not to question the almighty god is the same way you're not to question the small letters <laughs> that is so ridiculous no seriously that is, that is just what it is really? no maybe because we do not value our cultural heritage that's why we think that or because we think but the i'm world telling you from that culture now that the kings actually explain their How stand true so they have a proper messenger they don't get on social media to come and this is what oh, happened. okay and this the world has evolved the world are they supposed to well, let's not down this issue come on, anyway. please. the point come is on. Even if you have to be on social media, let there be a level of royalty. Royal, in they can your have a act. page. You cannot just um, and then release do anyhow and that tweet page. anything and start pointing fingers and going back and forth. I don't think that is. That's but that's that's not, not it's not even cool media. for a person like me. It's not even Nobody, about being I don't, I don't think Tayo meant it that way. But if that's what he meant, then I don't agree with that. Okay, but I don't that's what think. he said. Okay, moving on. You wrote it for him. Sorry, a I boutique owner has called out Big Brother Ninja housemates over um. 
allegedly refusing to pay for clothes she borrowed. She also shared screenshots of their chats to back up her claim. Mm. Well, no, you guys go. I think that at the end of the day, when it comes to like, I won't say that, um, I won't say it's a Nigerian thing, but when it comes to like professionalism, when it comes to selling stuff or being a customer and buying stuff, I feel like a lot of times things always, people always clash when it comes to that. Ella is like an influencer. She went to Big Brother Nigeria. I'm sure she has like followers and everything. Maybe she, I'm just saying, you know, maybe she purchased from <coughs> this um, boutique and in her that. mind, she was like that, me wearing these clothes and tagging this person, maybe that is, you know, in influencing. In her mind. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> in her mind. Maybe she's like, I'm influencing. I like that she is in her mind. Because it's just that if that's the case, that there's a madness somewhere. I'm bringing somewhere. traffic to your page. Traffic because call, I, you, go slowly. Because you can see now, she will ask her, what is the reason? She'll be like, oh, she's bringing you publicity, blah, 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 me, the publicity is me, enough me. payment. If that's the case, it should have been agreed, agreed. Upon, upon before. From day one. But and if it, for the for boutique um, woman or man, whoever is behind that page, um, the, her message is contradictory. Because mm. she's saying um, she has not paid for borrowed clothes. clothes. I, I saw well, that mean, Are you, is there a, yeah, an amount? To borrow my well, clothes. I know there is an amount they pay to borrow clothes Jones anyway. Clothes, Maybe yeah. that's what she's talking about. So she rented the clothes. And she returned like, the clothes and then uh, paid so, for the rental. She needs to tell us, let's know at least, does she, is she holding the clothes and the money? Or she has or at least returned, returned the clothes, the clothes and, and is the renter? But regardless, she's saying like that you are owing her and um, please, I beg, pay your basic in case you are really owing. And if you're not, this is the type of things that you need to come out and debunk. This is not the time to form silences for um, what they this call is it, time when you maturity people. Please, 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 we don't need maturity. And if you're owing, please pay. And um, exactly. I think I just want to relate this back to people who try to live above their means because in their head, I'm now a celebrity. I don't, my followers I, saw the clothes, they will come to your page. That's uh, your I payments. can't wear it again. Well, I, I if you like can't afford it, then you, you can't be living that kind of lifestyle. True. And maybe you should go back to your drawing board to understand mm. what else you can do to Make turn your money. influence into money and then spend it the way you like you at the want. end of the day. Yeah. So I, I don't subscribe to this. And some of these boutique owners, I think this is not the first or second time we're having this type of yeah, conversation. So they that. need to also understand how the business works mm. and be sure that their terms and conditions are very clear before they get into this business. It won't be too much to say, payment. have a lawyer. I, I mean, it won't be too much to say that at this point. Yeah. And I even know a woman who does this type of borrowing thing her own is she's not even expecting you to pay for the borrowing, but she expects that you drop a certain amount of money that if and when you return the clothes and it doesn't look good and maybe you don't even return it at all, then you don't get your money back. No, but once no. you return the clothes, mm. you get the money back. So I think they need to put a some form of structure makes more sense. in their business to yeah. avoid all this, you paid me, you did not pay me, uh, drama. I don't understand it. Basically, to me, I just feel like um, it's common among celebrities, especially yeah, um, the female celebrities. That Sorry, I'm not dragging female in this one, but when we see them being dragged, it's usually the female. It doesn't mean that you guys are not... Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe they are only just... I know them, them more. Maybe they are not just dragging them. them more. I understand. Mm. I'm just saying that, but when we see this happen, it's always a woman-to-woman -woman thing. Mm. The guy always chests it. I'm a guy. The guys but are coming for each other. They are doing uh, brothers. But anyway, food. let's let's go. But at the it's end of the day, I think um, the this fake life thing needs to stop. Yeah, and it's pressure. So you should stop putting pressure on your celebrities. <laughs> That's how we wrap. Next. <laughs> Thank you for watching and do send your opinion via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Um, I thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Nimi Dekombi and Ifeolu Oshunkeye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Osi Godwin. Please do stay safe.